For today's recipe, we have beef brisket noodles with dried bean curd sticks. We're going to this Chinese herbal shop to do some shopping for Chinese herbs and ingredients. Uh, we're going to use the ingredients for different recipes. Here are the two key ingredients for our recipe. This is the dried bean curd stick, which we'll show you how to use. And here we have the dried Chinese Mandarin orange peel. This is going to bring lots of flavor. So keep the pieces fairly large here like this. Got some water boiling, so I'm going to put the beef brisket into the water. So next you just uh, rinse the beef in cold water. So put about uh, three, four tablespoons of cooking oil in there. Got some uh, slices of ginger I'm going to put in there. So it's pretty large uh, slices. You got maybe uh, half a dozen slices in there. So I finished uh, letting the uh, beef brisket dry. So I got the heat on high, just give the uh, beef brisket a good sear. Uh, the uh, ginger uh, is aromatic, so that's going to bring out some nice uh, flavor. Got about a liter and a half of water. Going in now. So I've turned the uh, heat down to medium right now. So I put the main ingredients in now. I have uh, three uh, star anise. I've got uh, three uh, small bay leaves here. So bay leaves will tie all the flavors together. So I've got some mandarin uh, orange peel. So it's about half an orange peel here. So it's about uh, half. So this is about half an orange orange peel. So it's two pieces here. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of sea salt in there. You can use uh, regular salt too if you like. Oyster flavor sauce. Uh, one of my favorite sauces that I like. So put about a tablespoon of oyster flavor sauce. I put a tablespoon of brown sugar. You can use regular white sugar. So just put that in there. So this is what I put in to give it lots of uh, flavor. So this is a traditional uh, chu ho paste. Chu hao dang. Put two tablespoons of the chu ho paste in there. So I put two tablespoons of chu ho paste in there. So these are the flavors that I like. You can put other flavors in there too if you like, but this is what I like. So I'm just going to let that simmer at low to medium heat for an hour and a half to two hours. So I have one whole daikon. Uh, peel it just like a potato. So we're just going to cut the daikon into fairly large pieces. We put the daikon in the stew in the last hour. So the stew has been going for about an hour already. So just cut it into fairly large chunks like this. These uh, Chinese mushrooms I soak in water for three hours. Some of them you have to soak for longer overnight. And some of them you can just soak for about an hour. So the mushrooms I'm going to leave them whole, the small ones. And the large ones I'm going to cut it in half. So for this recipe uh, we've got some dried bean curd. So bean curd is like when they boil the uh, the bean in water, you get the uh, top, which is a curd. So they pull off the curd and then they just uh, dry the bean curd. So you get the bean curd that looks like this. So this is some of the bean curd that has been uh, soaked in uh, hot water. I just boiled some water, uh, soaked the uh, bean curd in there for about 20 minutes. So as you can see, it's a one big sheet that has been uh, uh, scrunched together. So what we do now is just uh, cut the bean curd into maybe three or four inch uh, long uh, slices. So just uh, cut it up like this. So when you put it into the stew in the last half hour, it's going to be still fairly firm. If so you need uh, maybe uh, six to eight sticks, depending how how much stew you have. So the Beef stew has been going for about an hour right now. I'm going to put the daikon in right now. 
So let's just put the mushrooms in the last uh, hour or so. And just make sure the uh, liquids cover the uh, mushrooms. So we'll continue to simmer at medium heat. So now we're in the last half hour. So I'm going to put in the uh, dried bean curd sticks. So I'll put that in the uh, last half hour, the dried bean curd sticks. Turn down the heat to low to medium. And then it simmer for the last half hour. So we're using the Farke brand of noodles for this uh, beef brisket noodle dish. So Farke is a fairly well known company. It's been around for a long time. So I've got some water going right now. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of oil into the water. I'll put a teaspoon of salt in there. So this helps the noodles from sticking together. So I'm gonna put a couple handfuls in here. That should be enough for like say four quarters. This brand of noodles only takes five minutes to cook, but be sure to check the instructions. So just rinse the noodles in cold water just to get rid of some of the starches and to stop the cooking of the noodles. Put a little more of that sauce on top and you have the nice Chinese mushrooms with the dried bean curd sticks. So there you have it, beef brisket with Chinese noodles. Enjoy. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Thanks for checking out my video and be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can get the next new video. And thanks to my viewers for helping me win the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world. And also, I was awarded the top 40 China YouTube channels in the world. And also, uh, please subscribe. Just press the button.